We're going to pray with God. Actually, prayer walk with God. And it can be in your neighborhood. It can be in the building where you live or work. It can even be at Walmart. Hey there, friend. Welcome to Beneath the Fig Tree. I'm Rose, and I am so, so very glad you're here, like really a lot. And can I tell you something? We all know that Bible reading and prayer are so important, non-negotiable even. But I also think there's so much more to a great devotion life than the, quote, perfect quiet time that we've all been taught about. I want to give you permission to lay down the guilt and shame about what your devotional life looks like now compared to what you think it should look like. And then discover how you best relate to God so that you can cultivate a devotional life you love and look forward to. Around here, I'll share loads of inspiration, lots of tools and encouragement, all to help you cultivate the kind of meaningful relationship with God that you've always longed for, but you just didn't know how to make it happen. Are you ready to breathe new life into your devotional journey? Grab a cup, a friend, and let's chat. Welcome to day nine of the 10 day do something challenge. Now get ready to lace up those walking shoes, friend, because we're headed for a stroll. Have you ever spent time praying with a friend? In the simplest terms, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to pray with God. Actually, prayer walk with God. And it can be in your neighborhood. It can be in the building where you live or work. It can even be at Walmart. So today, you're going to lap your way around. As you're out walking, listen to the sounds. That's the L. Listen to the sounds, the conversations, whatever is going on around you. And then the A is ask. Ask God what he hears. What's on his heart about the people around you? And then the P is pray. Pray about whatever he brings to your attention. So here are some things that you might see and pray for along the way. If you're in a neighborhood, as you walk through your neighborhood, you might see your neighbors and just pray for their well-being, for any challenges that they may be facing, or that they may experience God's love and grace. If you're walking in your downtown or a shopping area, as you pass by local shops or businesses, pray for the owners. Y'all, they need it. Pray for their employees and the success of their endeavors. Ask for God's guidance in their work. If you're walking by a school, pray for the students, the teachers, and the staff. Pray for a positive and safe learning environment. If you're passing a park or a playground, pray for the children that are playing there. Ask God for their safety, their health, and that they may grow up with love and support in their life. If you're walking around your church or other churches, pray for the leaders, pray for the members, and the impact that they all will have on your community. Or you might find yourself praying for nature, for emergency service personnel, for city officials, for people experiencing homelessness. And if you're not comfortable praying, don't get hung up on using the perfect words. God isn't impressed by them. Just pray in your normal conversational language. Okay, that's it. So grab your sneakers and get moving, friend. As always, I would love to hear how today's challenge went for you. What did God bring to your mind? What did you have the opportunity to pray for? Hop on over to the Fix Community Facebook group and let us know there. Or if you're getting the emails that go with this challenge, you can just hit reply there and let me know. I'll have a link to both of those down in the show notes for you. And if you're finding the ideas from the 10 day challenge encouraging, I would love for you to subscribe or follow the podcast because I have so many more really great ideas for you to use in your devotional life. And if you have a friend that might be encouraged by it too, would you consider sharing it with them? So let's cultivate a devotional life you love, like 
really love. It is possible and it's easier than you think. Chat soon, friend.